Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. And I wanted to postulate something about modern evangelical Christianity. Um, before I get started on that, we need to get some definitions out of the way that pertain directly to my uh, subject matter. May, most of you have heard the term s and you may not know fully what it means. The long version is sadomasochism. Now, sadomasochism, uh, the sadism part of it refers to a dirtbag in uh, 1700s, 1800s, uh, known as Marquis de Sade. He liked uh, torturing women and children to death. Nice guy. Spent a long time in prison and, and in nut houses too. I think I have some German guy. I don't have his name down pat. He's in the 1800s. It's mass of something. That's where they get masochism from. That part is where you derive. The previous part is where you derive pleasure from giving it to somebody, and the masochism part is where you. Get your rights wrong. You get your enjoyment from receiving it. Pain, in other words. Pain, suffering, whatever. And I want to postulate that modern day Christians, evangelical types, are going to all these different countries, especially. They're, I tend to think that they're part of. I think they've basically created their own S and M cult of a sort, although it's not sexual in nature, as far as I know. But I've been listening to this preacher on Second Life, and he's not unique. Uh, he tells these stories. One story, I'm sitting there utterly aghast, listening to the guy. Until some. Uh, Somebody went to some foreign country and the guards beat him so severely that when he was all done with it, he was complete paraplegic. Only thing he would move is his, you know, face. Nothing else would work. And he didn't want his uh, tormentors punished. I don't know if the story is true or not, but, uh, I was utterly aghast at hearing it. I wanted to say something so bad, but I figured I better not. I wanted to point out, look, this guy... This guy doesn't have a wife anymore. He has to be fed and cared for and everything. Because of what happened to him. He should hear raging condemnation of what happened. Nothing. Nothing from the preacher, nothing from anybody else. Well, I'm condemning it. Like I said, it's all a hearsay story. I don't know how much truth there is. I hear these stories all the time. And I hearken to... You can look this up. You get places like the Philippines, the Catholics there. So it's not limited to uh, evangelicals. Catholics are, one of the things they'll do is have themselves literally crucified. You heard it. They have spikes driven in their hands and feet, released in their hands, and they put up on crosses. That's masochism, folks. And I think, you know, what I'm seeing here is more uh, masochism traits than, uh, Sadism, but uh, when I hear these stories about these people who go overseas and they think they did the right thing by having themselves tortured like that, no. There's something horribly wrong with this picture. And I think that basically Christianity has devolved into what is essentially an SM cult. You know, it should be helping to spread freedom around the world. 
and not getting people thrown in prison. You go into one of these dirtbag countries, get thrown in prison <laughs> uh, for preaching. You know, you've basically done something beyond those. You violated their laws. Not that I like their laws. But the other thing is, they're not actually going by biblical principles. There's some passage in the Bible that says that they reject you, shake off the very dust on your feet, and so on and so forth. All these countries reject Christianity. Shouldn't you avoid them? Tough, tough call. They might say, well, their uh, governments may reject us, but the people don't. All right. But you're still being stupid if you go to one of these countries and get treated like this. And it's coming here. You see, uh, there's so many of these countries that are run like dirt bags, like you have over there in uh, California and Newsom. He's pretty much eliminated uh, churches over there. He's a dirt bag. He's a communist. I have no patience for any of this. But the Californians don't know enough to revolt in a political sense and place of these sons of bitches and open their state back up. Get rid of Newsom. You know, the same thing goes for New York here. We need to get rid of Cuomo and Whitmer and Michigan and so on and so forth. You gotta get rid you gotta get rid of all these sleaze buckets and replace them with some decent people. Real Americans who like freedom. That's all you need. They can be Democrat and Republican, I don't really care. But they have to be Americans who salute the flag and care about freedom. That's the important thing. What you have in the Democratic Party are authoritarians. It goes for many of the uh, Republicans, too. Not good. But, to recap, you know, Christians seem to wear this type of thing, being tortured for their faith as a badge of honor. I see it as a badge of stupidity. And I do think it's showing some uh, sadomasochistic leanings on the part of Christians. That's the way I see it, folks. I'm not taking it back. You may not like it. Oh, we're just like, we have to obey our God. Yeah, what has your God done for you lately? You know, uh, I lean a little bit towards deism myself. But I remember watching that, uh, the fictional God on Who Mourns for Adonis on the original Star Trek. Let's see. He would feed you, take care of you. All you had to do was sit there in a dorm, light a few fires, and make some wreaths and shit. Well, it seems like a pretty good deal to me, given what we have today. I mean, where is your dad? Why doesn't he straighten this world out? He's so powerful. <laughs> where is he? Why? It's been 2,000 years. How much longer do we have to wait? I mean, if some Christian was... If... I can't be a god, obviously, but if I was, and one of my people were in prison, being tortured, I would be in there, okay, you let them go. Right now. When they try anything, zap, 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 zap. Oh, other facts. You're missing a point. They have to preach the gospel. Alright. Fine. So let me ask you, uh, born again, one question. Let's say you had some dirt bag in your uh, neighborhood. And I mean a dirt bag, a scum sucking piece of human garbage. Who was saying they're torturing puppies. And they took your 
puppy and he was torturing that. What would you do about it? Would you sit there and uh, let the torture the puppy be tortured to prove its loyalty to you? I would hope not. But that's exactly what you're saying. You're, you know, we're basically pets to this god, and we have to let ourselves be tortured by wandering slime in order to prove our loyalty. Bullshit. Sorry, it doesn't doesn't cut. It do, does not cut the mustard. Um, this is an S and M cult, folks. Plain and simple. Do you agree with me, Mr. Crow? I think Crow's been flap uh, flapping around here. So I think that you know, there's some things that are really screwed up religion included. This world is sick, and unfortunately it's getting sicker with hoodlums in the street burning cities and that kind of thing. Communist hoodlums. As always, vote Trump 2020. That idiot Biden couldn't run a department store, let alone an entire country. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Have a nice day.